My name is Mike Welker, Coordinator of eLearning and Innovation and Instructional Designer here at NC State College. In this brief tutorial video, we'll walk you through how to do the basics of firing up and presenting content in this specific Almost classroom. Everything we need to do as far as operating, manipulating, powering on or off this equipment happens up here at the front of the room in the instructor the console. An optional place of our drawer where you can pull that down and out comes your keyboard or mouse to operate the instructor PC. Um, but for our purposes, one of the first things we'll need to do to get ready for class is to fire up the PC. Now, in this case, uh, we'll have a solid door, but you could also have one with glass. And we'll open that up, and you'll see it on one side or the other. And for almost all these guys in the top left corner of the PC, you'll see there's a button there, and that's our power button. And if we press that, you can tell it's on by it being lighted. So in this particular classroom, the console has this sort of push button interface, which you can find uh, as the black panel on the uh, one of the top corners uh, on the instructor podium. First thing we'll want to do is fire up the projector. And to do that on these, we just push the on button under display and just push it down until it makes a hard click and then starts blinking and then that will then fire up the projector uh, and begin warming up which will take about a minute or so to switch between the different available sources each source that's available to us on this podium to share different kinds of material has its own physical push button so if we want to share uh, the instructor pc and send that up to the projector we've got a pc button if we push that um, we just push it down release it that then lights up to indicate that's the active source being sent up to the projector when we're all done and ready to shut everything down, uh, we'll just go back to our instructor panel here on the podium and under display, instead of saying on, we're going to, and once that's begun, then uh, that will begin the process of shutting down the projector. You want to make sure you log out of the instructor PC under your login and then pick up your materials and then you're good to go. Now for the laptop option, if I want to bring in my own laptop, um, I'll need to look for somewhere in the podium, there'll be connectors, either uh, these three row connectors, uh, what we call the so-called VGA, or uh, a newer connector, uh, uh, HDMI, as well as if I'm doing audio, some sort of audio plug there as well. And I'll need to plug those into my laptop and get that fired up and send its video out. And P, uh, laptop portable PC icon uh, button for uh, hooking in some sort of laptop. Uh, if we wanted to go to the DVD player, we'd press DVD. Then what I'll need to do is look, open up my uh, doors and my instructor podium and look for the DVD player. In this case, it's a Panasonic one. So to open that up, to put my DVD in, I'd hit the open close and it'll think about it and then it will open up a drawer. I can put my DVD in and say open and close and go to town. Um, yeah, doc cam for doc cam. So in this particular classroom, the document camera is an Epson uh, document camera. And this is the default folded up state as they should see it on the top or on a, a shelf beside the podium. And a document camera is a, a great little device uh, for being able to show artifacts or real world objects, models, um, some any sort of material like that, printed material, whatnot, uh, that you can then zoom in and blow up and manipulate and turn around live uh, on the projector. So you basically got a, a camera on an arm is basically what you've got with this. To make the Epson work then, if you're seeing it in this folded up state, what you do is you just grab hold of it and then just pull it up and then stretch it out over whatever object uh, you want to be able to cover on the stage. So in this case, we'll just say it's an iPhone. Then you just kind of manipulate things around as you want. And then to turn on the document camera, uh, you look for this uh, yellow uh, uh, power button. And then I'll press that 
and it'll blink, blink, blink. And then once it's a solid green, that's on. And then if I've selected on the podium, the dot cam as my source, then whatever image is uh, on uh, the camera is capturing, it's going to go up to my uh, projector there. And I've also got a zoom in, zoom out capability on this with this button. And then I've got a giant focus button to kind of force it into autofocus. When I'm all said and done, um, what I do is I hit the power button twice, uh, go back to a yellow state, and then I can fold up uh, the arm if I want to. But at that point, uh, I'm good to go. One other item to look for is this little black Kensington remote. If I'm doing some sort of slide deck um, presentation, remote connection to the instructor PC so I can advance a slide or go back a slide or hide or uh, use a laser so that's pointer. That's the bare home basics of getting into this beast, firing everything up, use a quick tour of some of the possibilities that are here and then shutting it down. Um, a word of a caution on this, don't feel intimidated by all this and likewise don't feel like you have to use all these woozles just to use them. Make sure when you're always using instructional technology, it's situated in a context of best practice. If you'd like to talk more about those or how to have effective use of your multimedia, you can get a hold of us at eLearning at ncstatecollege.edu, 419-755-4706. Be happy to work with you in uh, whatever questions or topics you want to work with. Other than that, have a great class.